everybody and welcome back to my channel. It is Jen with Homina's Plans and today's video I am doing a planner review on this bad girl right here. This is the Go Getter Girl 5-in-1 Spiral Bound Planner and a little backstory. When I first started my channel, I started off doing a functional plan with me's. Um, I had a nine to five job and I had an hourly planner and then the pandemic hit and I was like, oh my gosh, I have nothing to plan because I got temporarily laid off from work. Uh, and so I was like, what am I going to do? I have this planner. I have all these stickers. What am I going to do? And then luckily I found the decorative planning community and started memory planning. Um, I switched from an hourly to a vertical planner and loved every second of it. I wanted a functional planner that had daily layouts because I enjoy knowing what my day is going to consist of. Like I was originally functionally planning my week, but plans change and you never really know what's going to happen until ours, but or I don't really know what's going to happen until the day of. So I was looking for a planner that had a weekly view, a monthly view, and then a daily view. Um, and preferably one that was spiral bound because a lot of the daily planners that you see are made for rings planners. And as much as I love watching rings planner setups and like seeing everyone's rings planners, I just know that I could not do that. <laughs> it takes a special kind of person to do a rings planner and I'm just not that way. I knew I needed a spiral bound. I knew I needed one that was coiled. So I looked and I searched and I searched and um, I found this brand. This brand came out in 2020 and I watched it for a while and I've seen so many people do spreads in it and the owner of the company is seriously one of the sweetest people on the planet. She's so like right there. If you have a question, she'll actually respond to you. It's, it's really cool. Um, so I decided to go ahead and say, let's do it. And I got this planner <laughs> and today I'm going to do a review. We're going to do a sticker test, a pen test, and possibly a whiteout test as well. I'm not sure. So yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to get you guys back to where you're comfortable and familiar with. And we're going to go through this planner and I'm also going to do a, um, mock setup because I should explain this planner is a six month planner, but the owner is gracious and she threw in December as well. And I'm going to use December as a mock setup and a mock spread so I can give you guys kind of a feel of how to use this planner. So without any further ado, I'm going to turn you guys around and we are going to go through this planner and then do the setup. So let's get to it. All right, so here she is. This is the Go Getter Girl 5-in-1 Spiral Bound Planner, and this is in the Bossy Matte Black Cover. There are a multitude of covers that you can choose from. Um, a lot of them are very pink, pastel, and very girly. I went with the Matte Black Cover, which has gold hardware. I love how thick the coil is. I love these gold corners right here and just the faint dainty little stars right there. So when you open the cover, I should mention as well, this cover is hard bound. So it's a very sturdy, sturdy cover. So you can rough it up and I think it'll be all right. So when you open up the cover, um, every coiled planner comes with a bookmark that matches. It says plan your life like a go-getter and it is in the black with the gold as well. So love that. Um, over here, and this planner is also dedicated to the founder, Rachel Marie, or Rachel Marie's grandmother. Um, she says, dedicated to my grandma, the best woman I knew who always taught me to follow my heart and to be a go-getter. So love that. Very great. So starting off, this is the intro page. Obviously this planner belongs to, and then you turn the page. That is the owner, Rachel Marie. And you have the welcome with all the information. And then over here on this side, it says how to use. So if you needed like a little taste on how to use this, because this planner is very much so geared to goal setting and helping you to achieve things throughout the year. So then you turn the page and you get into the create tab. 
So this has quotes, very neutral. I enjoy the fact that the quotes and everything is very neutral on the inside. That was also something that drew me to this planner is that there wasn't a lot of frills, a lot of fluff. It was very neutral, you know, right to the point. So here is the create tab. So here you have your dream big creation. This is just something to help you do some self-reflection and really to decide what you want to do with your life, which I think is awesome. Super cool. Cool idea. So like the first like few pages in here are really just meant to like help you learn about what you want and coming up with a plan to create it. A lot of these pages are dedicated to that. So this is like a roadmap to your dream life, which is really cool. Love this. And then over here, it's a morning routine creation, which I think is cool. I could definitely use a better morning routine because right now I just wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm running late. So I think that's actually pretty cool. Setting aside between 15 or 15 minutes or even an hour to really get things done. So then we get into the actual plan se uh, section. So here we have the seven month overview. Now the other um, spectrum will obviously be six months, but this, like I said, has the December 2020. So it is seven months, which is great. Here is the half year overview. Here are all the holidays. So that way you can put them in your um, monthly overview if you wish, which is great because it's nice to know what days certain holidays land on. So then we get into the first month, which in this one is December. Again, very basic, very neutral um, monthly tabs. And right here you get the monthly layout. And something that I really liked about this planner is the layout for the month. Now, generally in other planners, the monthly overview is spread out over two pages, but I really liked how this one was a horizontal layout and it was on one page. So I love how straightforward and neutral the layout of this um, monthly calendar is. And then on the other side, you have monthly goals, your action plan for what you want to do to achieve those goals, and then your monthly budget. And then down here, you can have what habit are you trying to break or create this month? So it's very straightforward. However, I can also see how this can be really, really easy to turn into whatever you want. So this is a very basic layout for someone who wants to keep it basic, or you can turn it into something completely different. The choice is up to you. You have the option. So then we get in to the monthly vision board. Now, this is another thing that kind of excited me about this planner because <laughs> I like the creative aspect. Like I said, I love stickers. So when I saw this, I was like, dude, I can turn that into whatever I want for that month. Like if I want to focus on a certain goal, um, and, a, and, and have it laid out really pretty for myself, I have two pages to do that on. Um, so I really love this. And then you get into your weekly spread. Very straightforward. I really like this and it is set. I don't know if you can tell, but it is set and broken down to where you have morning, afternoon, and evening, which is something I really liked. Um, Saturday and Sunday are in one column, which is fine. I generally don't have much going on on Saturday and Sunday. And then you get in to your daily layouts. This was the biggest selling point for me for this planner. I loved the way this daily setup was laid out. You have your schedule, you have work to do, personal to do, and then you have like a place for your fitness. And then right here, you have a place to kind of put a motivational quote. It's generally what it's, it's, what it's intended for, but you can use this big space to pretty much put whatever you want in, which I think is great. And then the, your weekend is broken up once again, kind of like the weekly, um, it's on one page. And then over here at the end of every week, you have a blank page and it says, stop, surprise, slow down and express yourself. Let's doodle. Let's decorate, use a space as you please and put whatever your heart desires. If you want to doodle, if you want to add a grocery list, if you want to use it functionally, if you want to track your workouts throughout the week, this page can literally be for whatever you want, which again, I think is really cool. Another way to let you completely turn this into a planner that is functional for you, use however you wish. So then we get into the next week and so on and so forth, the exact same layout. Um, 
and it goes on until the end of the month until you get in to January and it starts all over with your monthly view and then over here that has your budget and action plan and everything. So very straightforward, again, super neutral. So let's go ahead and go to the back of the planner where you have all of the extras. Um, and in the back here, the first extra you have is an address book, which I don't know how much use personally I will get out of this. I am terrible at writing down people's addresses and my brain kind of works where it's like, <laughs> if I go to a place enough times, I no longer need the address. So um, I'm not entirely sure how much use out of this I will get, but it's nice to know I have it just in case. Um, and then you have passwords. This is actually wonderful for me because me and my husband have like a random notebook just sitting around that has all of our passwords, all of our stuff. So it's nice to know that I will have a place to put all of that sensitive information where it will be 100% secure because this bad boy, I'm perfect. I'm 100% planning on taking with me everywhere. So like at work, um, I'm going to throw it in my tote. It's, it's going to be with me. So these will be safe. So love that. And then over here you have lists, love this so much. So like shopping lists for forever. I mean, like you can break it up into whatever you want. This is great because I take a paper shopping list with me every single time me and my husband go grocery shopping. I never use my phone. I always use a paper list, something there's something so satisfying about being able to check it off with a pen after I put it in the cart. So it's nice to know that I have this page and then you get in to all of these notes pages, which is great. If you want to like write down information, if you want to just take something down or you can write something down and rip it out of the book. If you need to just use a piece of paper, like I said, this is going to come with me and be with me on a daily basis and I'm going to use it. So yeah, that is it. And here's the end of the book. You have a couple of blank notes pages. So you have some lined notes pages and then you get in and you have three or one, two, three, four, six blank notes pages and then you have this really pretty pocket back here you can store stickers whatever it is that you want you know if you have some like extra sheets or, or whatever if you have like transparent pages if you have sticky notes or whatever you can stick them in this pocket back here and then on the back it is signed by Rach Marie so overall that is everything um, about this planner on the back you have all of her social information I really like it. I like the way that it's set up. I think it's very functional. I'm excited to get started. It feels like really thick, sturdy paper. Um, it doesn't feel too thin, but real quick, we're gonna get in to a pen test. Okay, so I just have some pens that I always use in my planner already. I have a Papermate Profile pen in 1.46, which is a bit of a thicker pen. Then I, of course, have the Pilot G2 in 0.7, one of my go-tos. This is a Fine Tip Tool Pen in 0.7. Love that. Then I have the Uniball Signo in 0.38, uh, so love that. And then I have a Bic Intensity Fine Liner. And then of course I have a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point Permanent Marker Pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you guys how these pens write. Okay, so here are all of the pens and then going over to the next page, as you can see, the one that really bled through was the Sharpie marker, which, you know, was to be expected. It's a Sharpie. I don't really write on like straight paper with a Sharpie marker. Um, it's a Sharpie. <laughs> but if you look at the others, you can't see like any ghosting, like, or about as much ghosting with the others as you would in another type of planner. So really the only one that I'm struggling or having an issue with right here is Sharpie. So I'm not mad at the others. So the next thing I want to test out is whiteout. So let me grab 
my tried and true by Tombow Mono Hybrid. And let's see how, first of all, it looks. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but this paper is actually, it's got kind of like a gray tone to it. As you can see, the, col the color difference in the paper. So this has more of like a gray blue tone to it, um, whereas this one is a little bit more on the, um, I don't know, white, yellow, like it has more of like an olive undertone. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but this definitely has more of a gray blue undertone. So the white out, you can actually kind of see a little bit more obviously on the page than you would in your other planner. But given the fact that this is going to be my functional planner, I'm not really planning on doing a lot of whiting out anyways. And if I am going to white out, I'm probably going to put a sticker over it anyways. I don't know if you guys can tell like on camera how that looks. Um, there you go. You can kind of see right there on camera. You can't really see the white out, but in person you can tell that there is white out there. But yeah, in terms of whiteout, I'm not mad about the way that whiteout looks on this paper because like I said, if I use whiteout, I'm probably gonna put a sticker over it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into a mock setup for the month of December, being that December is almost over with. Let's go ahead and see what we can do about setting up the month of December because that is something I'm really looking forward to is actually setting this up and finding out my groove and everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what that will be like. So this is actually a kit that I picked up from Paper Loving Mommy on Etsy back when I was doing lots of functional planning and back when I thought I was going to have my hourly planner come December. I picked up this gorgeous kit and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to use it because the style of kit this is is way more functional and I obviously do way more decorative planning. So I was really excited to be able to pull this kit in and use it functionally. Um, I remember whenever I purchased it how excited I was and the fact that I can actually pull this kit in and have it 
be of use to me. I was so excited about. Um, I've been able to pick up and replace the stickers with no issue. The paper quality in this planner is absolutely amazing. Um, for the monthly view, I just pulled in a bunch of those stickers from the Carpe Diem sticker book and some washi tape from Tiddlywinks Design. Uh, like I said, for the weekly spread, I used a kit from Paper Loving Mommy. Now on to this particular spread right here. Uh, generally, it's set up for goals and an action plan to complete your goals, but I turned it into something functional that I can use for the month. And this is um, a Christmas present list, um, some to-dos that I need to accomplish for the month, and then a budget for my Christmas list over there. So that's what I turned that section into for this particular month. Over to the vision board now, I am heavily inspired by Tay from Shantae Plans and how she does her dashboard pages in her uh, vertical planner. So I pull in once again some thick washi from Tiddlywinks Designs, some florals from the Sweet Planner, and then I take my ruler and kind of just section off my vision board into different areas. Like um, for this particular month, I'm actually turning my vision board into a gift ideas board. Board. So on one side, I will have a list of people that I would like to buy gifts for and then gift ideas. And then on the other side, I will have birthdays in the month. Um, I want to have a section uh, for some YouTube video ideas and then a section for a certain large goal that I would like to achieve for that month. So I was heavily inspired for this vision board by Tay from Shantae Plans. Um, I'm going to do a quick flip through of everything here in just a second. But yeah, this planner was really easy to lay down stickers in. The stickers were able to come up and I had no issues. Absolutely love it. All right, so that is everything. That is my entire review and mock setup of the Go Getter Girl 5-in-1 planner. My final thoughts are, I love it. I like the way that pens work on it. As you saw, I used stickers and I pulled them up and stuck them back down. So stickers work beautifully. Um, I was actually able to use my X-Acto knife the way that I normally do and it worked out perfectly. So I would say, this is a bomb dating planner. I'm really excited to actually get in and really work out my 2021 goals and plans in it and really work in it functionally. Um, I like customization ability in this planner. I was able to turn, you know, my vision board into whatever I wanted. I was able to really make my weekly spread turn out the way I wanted it, but also keep it very functional. Um, I did not do a daily spread in this just yet because I actually um, pre-planned for this upcoming week. So I think what I'm going to do is um, put together a daily spread this upcoming week. I just wanted to lay down a pre-plan and actually get a feel for a setup. And um, in terms of filming with this planner, I think what I want to do is do monthly setups, kind of like what I showed you guys today. I'll set up my pre-plan for the monthly, for the budget page, for the vision board, and then a weekly spread. And then I will post probably daily spreads on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you check my link below. Um, yeah, if you're looking for a 2021 functional daily planner, check out Go Getter Girl Co. It's amazing. I love the quality and I really think you guys will too. Um, I will have their website linked below and also also all of their socials and everything too so make sure you go and follow them but yeah that is it that is everything that I wanted to show you guys for my new functional planner for 2021 I hope you guys are doing well um, if you're new here hi I'm Jen I do planner things feel free to follow along um, please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one bye